over somebody tonight uh, that your full time has come. Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, uh, but I prophesy over somebody that your miracle will not be premature, that your miracle will not be overdue, that your full time has come. Uh, come on, who am I talking to? I say your full time has come. Uh, I say your full time has come. Uh, your full time for testimony. Your full time for an encounter. Your full time for a breakthrough. Your full time for a miracle has come into your life. Uh, it has come upon your ministry. It has come to your ministry. It has come to your marriage. Uh, it's coming over your business. Uh, who am I talking to tonight? Uh, come on, lift your hands and say, I receive it. If I don't know what your name is, by what you do, I can give you a name. Am yes. I talking to somebody? Yes. Everything is not in life has an identity. Everything has a name. There's no neutral person. As a matter of fact, in any profession, they don't call money money. They call it. Am I talking to somebody? In the bank, they call it debit or credit. Uh, students call it tuition or school fees. I'm not talking to somebody. On Wall Street, we call it stacks and bars. In the church, we call it what? Seed. And I come to speak over somebody like tonight. Uh, that I should hear the sound of my voice. Uh, anything called it shall be uncovered. Uh, anything called it shall be revealed. Everything called it shall be exposed. Uh, I said it will open up to you. I said it will open up to you. I don't know who I'm talking to. Anything Exposed. Come on, lift up your hands and say, it shall be exposed. When a man comes from war and he conquers something that you couldn't conquer, we should sit that man down and ask him, what he, how did he do it, right? But he did it. He said, whose son? Because when you were saying that, it was not your method that brought the victory, but it's your identity. I'm not talking to say, I am Esau. That's why when the angel met him, amen, the angel asked him that question again. He said, in Genesis chapter 32 verse 27, he said, what is your name? And he said, uh, I'm Jacob. He said, yeah, you deceive your father, but you can't deceive me. And he opened up. He said, yes. I lied to my father and took something that did not belong to me, that did not last. But I want to tell the truth now so I can take something that will last. He said, I want to take something that is more than money. That's that's more to life than people giving you money. Right. Am I talking to somebody? In Genesis chapter 25, verse 5, the Bible said when Abraham was leaving, he gave Isaac all that he had. And in verse 6, the Bible said he gave gifts to his servants and he sent them away. If the man gave his son all that he had, why did he get the gifts to give to the son? Because what he gave Isaac was not material. Am I talking to somebody? What he gave Isaac is what made him Abraham. What he gave Isaac is what made him a covenant man. He gave people gifts. People can keep giving you money and you can go broke. But when grace come upon your life, you can never be broke forever. When grace come upon your life, doors open up to you. When grace come upon your life, things begin to happen for you. I prophesy over some Somebody like tonight. Uh, what is more than money is about to hit you right where you are. What is more than money is about to hit your ministry. What is more than money is about to hit your children. What is more than money is about to hit your family. What is more than money is about to hit your education. What is more than money is about to hit that business. Uh, come on, walk over to somebody and say, I'm getting what is more than money. I've not seen, ears I've not heard, neither is it enter into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For the spirit of the Lord searches all things, yet the deep things of God. Am I talking to somebody? In 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 34, Paul said, Awake unto righteousness and say not. 
for you don't have knowledge. I speak this for your sake. What I'm trying to tell you is if you're not conscious of your role, the devil will silence say, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Dear yeah, beloved, uh, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. He said, let us therefore lay aside every weight and every sin that don't easily beset us, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him and dear the cross, despising the same and forever sat on the right hand of God. That's something you got to do. Am I talking to somebody? There is no eternal security. The wages of sin is death. Uh, and then any soul that sin uh, is a candidate for hell. Am I talking to somebody? If you are not conscious of your robe, uh, the devil will stain it. Uh, in Zechariah chapter 3, uh, and just what the high priest, uh, he began to intercede. Uh, and while he was praying, uh, an angel stood at him, uh, and a demon stood at his right hand. Uh, and the angel said, the Lord God rebuke you, O Satan, because Satan was enforcing a filthy garment of Joshua. Am I talking to somebody? And I prophesy over your life tonight. Uh, every garment of sickness, every garment of poverty, every garment of shame, every garment of reproach, uh, let it be broken tonight. Uh, let it be destroyed tonight. Uh, by the honor you can ever have is when you get come in contact with the ring of the king. And Pharaoh took off the ring off his hand and placed it on the hand of Joseph. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. Do you guys know why? Do you guys know why Haman was so arrogant? In Esther chapter 3, verse 10, the Bible said the king took off his ring and placed it on the hand of Haman. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Do, you guys, do you guys know that Queen Esther, she was a queen. She had the power to stop Haman from what he was doing. But the reason why, she couldn't touch him because of the ring. Because that's the final seal of authority. If the king put the ring on you, nobody can touch you. That means you are, you are untouchable. And Esther chapter 8 verse 2, the Bible said that, and the king took off the ring from Haman and it on the hand of Mordecai, and the Bible said Esther set on uh, Mordecai over the house of Haman. Why? What couldn't she do all along because of the ring? Just know that what Jesus is doing, you know, he's sitting on the right hand of the Father. Can I have a chair? Can I have a chair? Can I have a chair? In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12, Makata Bahaya. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12, uh, I wish I had another chair. Ah, Makata Come on, can somebody give me another chair? This is prophetic what I'm doing. Repakataya. Lipeke Terebosa. Libra Katos. Kape. The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12, uh, and this man, uh, after he made one sacrifice uh, forever sat on the right hand of God from henceforth uh, expecting his enemies uh, to they become his footstool and declare over somebody like tonight uh, anybody that has chased you you will put your leg on their neck like this anyone that is coming up for your marriage uh, you will put your leg on their neck like this anyone that is after your business you will put your leg on your neck like this who am I talking to tonight? Somebody shout, I 